In today's lesson, we're going to learn all about transitions. So transitions are one of the most important parts of video editing. They can animate the movement from video A to video B in many creative ways. A transition can not only make your videos look more fun, but at certain times can make your videos look more cinematic and more professional. We're going to take a look at this window, the transitions window, and as you can see, we have a lot of transitions to use for our videos. Each of them are creative in their own ways. Some of them have animations, the others have like a simple movement. Depending on what you're going for, you can choose any of these and see whether you want to use them or not. So before that, I'm just gonna get some videos from the stock media tab. I uh, have two clips so we can add a transition because a transition only goes between two videos. So in between would be somewhere around here. And you can also put transitions at the start and at the end of your videos. So basically where there is a cut, you can add a transition. So for this particular example, we have three spaces where we can apply a transition on. This is the first part, second part, and the third part. If I were to add more videos, I can make a fourth part and just keep going until I'm happy with it. Let's delete that and head over to our transitions tab. So just like the titles tab, we have a default and a film stock uh, option. Let's first take a look at the default. These are all free to use transitions and they're all categorized. We got basic, 3D, uh, speed blurs, and so much more. We also got graphic transitions like these. You can see which one looks best on your video. So let's first go ahead and try some of these. I will go to 3D. And let's add um, fish roll 3 in between my video. Let's render the video so we can see it in full time until the bar up here is green. Now let's play this back. And you can see how we had a 3D transition going from video A to video B. If you want to remove a transition, just select it and then hit the trash icon. And now it's gone. Let's try another transition like orb or maybe orb twist. Put it on here. Let's render that video and or actually this little part. Play this back. And that is the orb twist transition. Let's delete this and take a look at some basic transitions. We got things that are pretty popular like a fade that is usually used for the start or the end of your clips. A fade is where it just goes to a black screen gradually. And we have different options like color distant. Let's see how this works. You can see that's how it is. And then we also have graphics that I can use for my transition. Just like that. So you have a lot of options to choose from. And you can just grab this transition box and put it at the start of a video. So this will no longer be in between, but it will be for the beginning of this video. You can also put it at the end of your clip. Play that back and it goes to a black screen. Because we have nothing else placed next to this video, go for the beginning. It goes from a black screen into our video, or you could put it at the end of this clip alone. So you can choose whichever you want. And like we said, a transition is only for the edges and not the center of your video. Let's extend this one. And if I click and drag this, you can see I, I'm getting this thing on my cursor that's telling me that I cannot place it here. I need to go to the end or at the start. I cannot put it in the middle. So those were the transitions in the default panel. We have a favorites bar, which means that I can just favorite one of these and come back for it in a later time so I don't have to look for this. We also have a search bar. So let me go in included and look for cross, I think it was whisk, yep. So there's the one that I favorited and I found it right away by searching. 
If you want to preview your transitions, just uh, go to that transition, double click to see a preview over here. And this is how it works. And let's take a look at something else. Double click. And that is the preview of the transition. So you could take a look at it and see whether you like it before dragging it onto your timeline. Now let's go ahead and check film stock where we have paid and free options. So we have a favorites bar like we talked about. We also have a downloads tab, which are the things that you've downloaded. Again, we have these diamonds, which means that I need to pay for these that have the diamonds in order to use them. But I could just download it and test it out before actually purchasing this transition. You can see it's a pretty cool transition. Maybe I used it and I was happy with it. I can then go ahead and hit export to purchase this transition. If you'd like, you can remove and export it, remove this transition if you don't want to buy it, or hit re-edit to go back to your timeline and maybe get rid of it yourself. Over here, we have a lot more options than the basic panel, and in the film stock option, we have a lot more graphic items. So we have like anime transitions. We got some nice patterns over here. Got some pixelated ones here. Glitter ones, bubbles, leaves even. Let's try one of these. Lay this back. These are in the hot recommended tab because they're really popular nowadays. Let's play this back. There we go. That's a pretty cool transition. Let's select it and then hit backspace or the icon over here. We got some other things, some professional ones that are used in cinematic videos, like we got light leaks. And basically these are different light sources blurred out onto your screen. Let's render that and take a look at how it works. Play this back. We got these light leaks that slowly fade into our second video. You can add multiple transitions. Let's get a third video over here. Add another transition. Let's go to the festivals and events to get something um, interesting. We got this uh, Thanksgiving transition. I'm going to put it right here and just trim, split my video right here, get rid of the rest so the render time doesn't take too long. Play this back. And we got this really fun transition. You can add as many as you'd like. You can also adjust the duration of these transitions by selecting that transition and grabbing uh, one of the sides to either shorten or lengthen the transition. You can go over here and this means if it's longer, it means that it's going to take, uh, it's going to be slower. Let's play this back. So it's like in slow motion almost. But if I grab the end here and make it shorter, it's going to happen a lot more faster. Play this back. There we go. So you can adjust the duration of each transition using your uh, using the ends here. All right, let's go ahead and take a look at the other places. We got things like gaming as well. So we got some 3D items, we got this winner transition. Let me delete this one, put this on here, play this back. And that's pretty cool. So depending on what type of video you're doing, you can come to these uh, transitions to make your videos more fun. You can also make them a lot more cinematic by going to the cinematic tab. You get items like this, but there are things like, um, let's see, like a comic book transition. Play this back. So that was pretty cool. It was just like the movies, just like Marvel movies. But one thing to keep in mind is that your transition needs to match what's happening in the video. So I have these peaceful nature scenes and adding such a complicated transition is not suitable for this video because when people are seeing this, they're feeling peaceful, they're feeling happy, and then suddenly they're getting this really exciting transition and then they're back to that peaceful video. So it's like I'm shifting their mood at different times and that is not okay. 
If you have a very important video or a serious video, let's say a conference video, you don't want to use something like this because it will also shift the attention from that important video onto this transition. So you want to make sure the transitions you're using for your videos are suitable to the content inside that clip. For our example where we have these peaceful scenes, I want to use something rather simple. Let me delete this transition. I could get things from the basic panel. Let's get a dissolve, play this back. And this, as you can see, was very light, it was very gradual, and it matches the content in my video because we got these really slow and peaceful videos and my transition is equally as slow and peaceful. You can also use things like uh, go to film stock, get light leaks. This is also suitable. So you can just use anything that is suitable. On the other hand, if I had an epic boxing video, I could go ahead and use the comic transition. And I just replaced that old transition with this comic one. Because when people are seeing that epic fight scene, they are excited. And this uh, transition will also keep the excitement and just keep them pumped for the rest of the video. Now transitions are not just for videos, you can use them for other things like images, GIFs, stickers, and titles. Let's go ahead and try those. I got picture A and picture B. Let's go to transitions and I can use any of these, Let's get this leaf one, to uh, move from picture A to picture B in a creative way. There we go. You can see how that works perfectly. Some of the transitions are full frame, meaning that this one, for example, went all over my frame. And if I had something small, let's get rid of this. I'm gonna place this on top. So I have my picture up here and I wanna use a transition to slowly introduce the image to the scene. I can use a transition, but if I grab one of these full frame transitions, play this back, you can see how the image just appears and I'm just getting a full frame transition that's not just over my video. So it's going everywhere and not on my uh, footage. So you want to use a transition that can fit your resized footage. An example would be the default tab, basic. Let's go for dissolve. Play this back and it's just happening on that one image and not my entire screen. So be careful with the transitions. Make sure that it only affects your scaled footage if you choose to scale down a footage. Let's get some text on top of this video. We can first try with titles that don't have a background like this one. If I play it back, we got this simple animation, but I'm still able to put my video underneath. Now I can use a transition to make the uh, appearance of this look a bit more subtle. Let's get blind one, this transition, and I can play this back to see this transition applied on top of the animation that the title already had. And this is also um, suitable for titles that have a background. I'm gonna get rid of the rest of this. Get one of the openers that have a background, a transition in between these two. Let's play this back. There we go. So not only do we keep the animations in the titles, but we also get another transition that will reveal this title. Head over to Stock Media in Giphy, where you can get stickers and GIFs. Let's get this one, place it on top of my video, double click to resize, put it somewhere here. Without the transition, it will show up like this. Now let's add a transition, go to basic, let's add fade. There we go, play this back, and it's going to fade in. You can use transitions for titles, GIFs, stickers, videos, and images. Let's delete this one and work with the duration of our transitions. Double click on one of them, and right over here I can adjust the duration of this transition. So let's stick with 10, but I'm going to add maybe two more seconds to this and hit OK. You can see how this lengthened 
If I have multiple transitions, like we have two here, I can type in the number, but instead hit apply to all. And now this one is just as long as this one. Double click, I can choose whether I want it to be in the center at the end of my first video or at the start of my second video. And using these, I can make my work a lot more quicker. Transitions are really easy and helpful. And now you know how to use them for your videos.